first thing we're going to do is we're going to let the air out of the tire. This one's pretty low already. We've got a quick tool for doing that. We're going to pull it over here. And we're going to look at the rim. And the big deal with the rim is, what you got to know when you're busting tires, is look at the rim. You see this? How the rim is like, like really shallow here and really deep over here. It's the same thing Roger. here. It's really shallow over here and it's really deep Roger. right here. That is called the drop center. So that when you see me bust the tire, you'll see me look for the side that the drop center is closest to. And I'll push the tire down into that so I can pull it the other side over the rim. Roger. That's how you do it. That's the trick. There's no big trick other than that. So watch. Here we go. So, because I'm going to bust it from the other side, I'm going to go ahead and break the bead on the back side so I only have to flip it once. The first thing is juice it. Give it a little, give it a little love. And that's a tire soak that's watered down. Okay. So, just take a tire hammer. You're not fat enough like me <laughs> to uh, break the bead when you do it. Spin it around, drop it on this side. This is how you do it when you're on the side of the road and the sun's bearing down. <laughs> and it's hot as shit. And I'll get some of the juice out of your eyes here. Little tire, car tires like this. And some Michelin truck That's tires. That's some NASCAR shit right there. And some Michelin truck tires you can uh, Alright, this is the part we gotta get now. Where's the other hammer? Or where's the other tire iron? I hit it. Here it is. So, where's the valve? Valve's on the other side. Good. We're gonna push it down into the drop center, just like that. Here, open this guy. Get it in there. Push it, so you see how the tire goes? See that? It goes down into this part right here of the rim. And you just pull it right, you can stick your whole hand down in there, it's such a huge gap. Take a couple bars, oh look at that tire. That's an old tire, look at that. If you got any of that stuff, this was a spare that was under the truck for whatever, 10 years, 5 years. We're not, we're, we weren't going to use it. You can never reuse this, this thing wouldn't last more than a minute. Put pressure on it, it would pop right off. Well you never saw me, Jim, put a tire on the rim this way, did you? We didn't get to that part yet. We're going to do that right away. So take that, pull it around. Sometimes if it's soft, you can just do it by hand. Other times you got to give it a little love and affection. Land, so it doesn't land in the lawn. Oh, it landed in the lawn anyway. Got dirt on it. So you know, this tire is no good. And this tire is no good, but we're going to use it anyway. So, oops. So here it is, the drop center again. Just closer to the top. I got a piece of grass on the bead. The bead is actually down here, not here. Not the lip. This is the lip. The bead is right here. That's the part you want to seal. So again, you want to make things easy on yourself. You know what they say about lube and lubrication. <laughs> so get a little of that and that on. Don't get too much in the tire. It'll evaporate, but you don't want to get a bunch of water in the tire. Get it all lubed up. Now hurry up, Frank. This is already a three and a half minute video here. Alright, so here we go. Let's get rid of the extra <laughs> juice. See that juice that was in the tire? Now remember, the inside was wearing out fast. So we're going to put the inside on the outside. Here we go. So we're just going to try to make this tire last a little bit longer. It took three and a half minutes. Was I stopping to explain? It takes like 30 seconds to do this. My pants are falling down. Right? My belt and not my belt. Frank, I've never been so impressed, man. You're easily impressed. No, I'm not easily impressed. It's all about the drop center, Jim. I understand about the drop center, but I still never never seen it done that fast by hand. I remember you saying you knew how to do this, but I never seen it. Here, watch this. This is even more fun. Try to air up a tire in one second or less. It's a lot faster than if you got a valve on the inside. Right now there's no valve here, right? I can just shoot the air straight in, right out of the hose. It's like slamming one into another. 
And I got an adapter that I can just screw onto this if it's a big tire and I want to leave it here so I don't have to hold it all the time. Then I got my little... Nice. So, well done, brother. Well, I still got to top it off. But what happened? I did most of the airing up. That was awesome. Was that cool? Yeah, man. And now I got another tire because my rim is cracked. Frank, you're going to be a YouTube star, bro. <laughs> that was well done, man. Well done. Well done.